mobile happens to be a very strong complementing factor to the existing uh, uh, ecosystem that delivers health services, right? It cannot supplement it completely. But I think it, with respecting that particular fact, we also have to understand that mobile is a very important tool in today's uh, uh, you know, ecosystem wherein the end consumer, the, uh, the targeted end consumer has a mobile phone and it's got a tremendous penetration in almost all the markets uh, we're talking about, be the emerged and the emerging markets. Now, the important fact is that the mobile phone is a personal device, right? It, and, it's, and it's easy to use, it's not complicated, and it helps uh, provide the very basic information in the most easiest manner. And it's got multiple channels like the voice, messaging, data, all of them. Now, mobile health is one area where uh, the, the information has to reach the end consumer, the targeted end consumer. And what better that channel than a mobile phone? Now, what we are trying to do is being able to provide an ecosystem wherein the applications relating to health, health is a very large area, very large sector. Now, if it, it can be targeted in terms of information, in terms of uh, basic services, like for exa example, re reminders to the, uh, uh, to the targeted audience about what are the precautions to be taken, for example, uh, uh, maternal and child health, the important vaccinations, the immunizations that have to be taken, so the alerts that have to be going on to the end consumer. And I think the mobile phone being a personal device and uh, uh, being right uh, in the hand of the end consumer is probably the best channel to be able to deliver this information and probably access to the services. A service has to be defined and designed in a way that it has to have an objective. For example, in the uh, case where in, in India, we, uh, we're working with uh, uh, in a state called Bihar, which probably has uh, a very, very low maternal and child mortality uh, rate uh, from a national average perspective. So uh, in that state, what we are doing is that we're working with the BBC Media Action who uh, is a program partner for the Mel Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the government of Bihar and this project came up, it's called the Ananya project, right? So it has an objective of, deliver of reducing maternal and child mortality rates. And uh, so here, the best part is that it is not just one entity, it is in fact the government of Bihar, the, uh, the BBC Media Action, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, uh, the World Health Partners, all of them involved and actually delivering the end service to the, uh, to the consumer. And that is with an objective, an objective of reducing maternal and child mortality rates by 40% by 2015 or 2017. So that target, that objective has to be defined and it has to be with the collaboration of all the concerned entities in, uh, in question. It cannot be done by one entity. And that that is only then will we be able to achieve some very significant uh, uh, goal, right? So otherwise it isn't, I wouldn't call it M-Health. I wouldn't call it mobile health. Being able to understand the end consumer, the language, the dialects, the cultural differences, and be able to de de you know design and deliver applications which suit the market right that's what i think uh, on mobile brings to the table i believe that organizations are coming together i think there's a lot of focus a lot of positivity around this and i think the intent at the day of at the end of the day matters right so if the intent is good i would certainly believe that you know that things would come in t together and, and in place to make things happen